Well, today is about Sinn Féin locally here in Mid Ulster, uh, giving an opportunity to local business people uh, and the, the business sector to uh, come here and hear the voice of Sinn Féin leadership and also to hear concerns there that those local businesses have regarding Brexit. There is real fear, you know, within the industry here in Mid Ulster, how Brexit is going to affect industry in, in general. And but we know that there is going to be real dangers and real harm done to these local businesses. But what can we do about it now at this stage? And what we're asking local businesses to do is to contact Michelle Barnier and all of those people who have uh, who wants to hear from Irish people the concerns that they have for their local businesses here in the north of Ireland. Well, today was a very good uh, opportunity for Sinn Féin to be engaging with the business community here in South Derry. Uh, a very successful uh, Brexit business uh, information session in which we heard a lot of issues there, concerns from the business sectors about the impact that Brexit is going to have on their industry. Should it be manufacturing, which Mid Ulster is the largest manufacturing region in the north, some 8,500 jobs uh, in the manufacturing sector, and uh, there's a great fear and intrepidation about how that's going to impact, how the hard border may possibly impact. They're already the businesses are fearing, are seeing the uh, downturn in the amount of uh, foreign EU workers that's uh, working for them. A lot of them has decided to go back home and uh, this is having a detrimental impact on their jobs already. It's that fear factor out there. So we have to ensure today was a good opportunity for the Sinn Féin leadership to address the businesses and to uh, restate what Sinn Féin are doing in the demanding of the backstop, seamless borders and the protection of rights uh, for businesses and for the citizen. Delighted to be here at the Elk in South Derry with my colleagues John O'Dowd MLA, Dr Kiva Archibald MLA to meet with local businesses to discuss uh, the impact of Brexit uh, on economic development in this uh, area of, of, of Ireland which is renowned for the, the quality and enterprise of its indigenous uh, business people. I think three messages from the floor. One, it's a democratic disgrace. We're being pushed out of the EU against our will. Two that everyone agrees uh, that it will be a damaging scenario, whatever option uh, lies ahead for us, and of course we don't know the options. And then the third thing I think which will give you heart is that local people are determined that their voices will be raised through the business organisations, through the farming organisations in Europe, demanding that we do get the backstop because people here who have spent a lifetime building up businesses are not going to allow Brexit to damage this community irreparably uh, or to set back the progress that has been made not only in peace and reconciliation but also in building businesses. So I see a determination here just to weather uh, the Brexit storm and to insist that they get as much protection uh, from the EU27, from the Irish government, from their political representatives uh, in the time ahead uh, and that's our pledge to, to those businesses. We stand with them, we'll fight to the nail for the backstop. Sinn Féin, Goanna Nis Carta Agus Eintas Naharan equality, rights and Irish unity.